What's up you cinematic effects enthusiasts? Here is Jay with a new episode from the series UI Corner with Jay. Today I want to show you how you can create in your website a cool cinematic text animation with only the magic power of CSS. No JavaScript, no Adobe Premiere, no SVGs were used. Let's start with creating the HTML structure first. That's all for the HTML, now let's proceed to the CSS part. video needs some additional styling so I applied a bigger font size on the title. Also the video got an absolute positioning and its width and height got 100% covering the whole screen. The title is actually behind the video but I need to make its uh, size much bigger. But before all I want to make the video as a background for the title and for this I will use the blending mode multiply. The multiply in simple terms takes everything that is black behind our video and places it in front of the video but everything that is white will be cut out from our black background. That is why we can only peek through the title shaped hole to our video. I want to further explain this effect so I created two boxes, the first one is half one which is white and it's in totally invisible on the video and the second one is black and it's totally overlaying the video. Now I make both black, both overlay the video and I made the second white so now it's invisible on the right. I will change also the percentages, black is getting smaller sizes and now I use like a gray color which just adds a darken effect on the video. This is how our title looks like right now so we just need to add the cinematic scaling down effect. Our animation is composed of three steps, from 50 to 100% the easing function kicks in and the shrinking of the title actually happens much slower. Also we can use a multi-line text but for this we need to make some additional adjustments. First we need to make sure that the text will wrap on multiple lines, for this we take out the no wrap and add a br tag in the html.
Sometimes our text doesn't overlap entirely the video, so we use translate x and translate y to reposition the text.